What's going on guys, Sean Enox here. I haven't done a board setup video in a long time and I've managed to squeeze the absolute life out of my old board, plus my old shoes too. I got some new shoes I'll show you guys in a second. Cop this hockey board, the Donovan Piscopo Pro model. It's got the cobra on the bottom, check it out, it's pretty sick. This one is an 838, I usually skate 85. I got this out of the sale bin at Fast Times at Miranda. It was 100 bucks, they usually run for like 140 in Australia. So if you guys are watching this from overseas or in the States, that's how much skateboarding costs here. Like this board would have cost maybe 65 bucks in the States, but in Australia it's like $140. Also I copped a new set of wheels, I copped the Spitfire Formula 4s. They're the 52s, they're the tablet shape. I usually skate like 53s, 54s, but I managed to score these on eBay for pretty cheap, so I picked them up. I've got my Bronsons to chuck in them. They're the G2s. I've had these for like almost a year now. I just cleaned them the other day, so if you guys want to check out the video of me cleaning these, I actually made a homemade bearing cleaner, so the link will be in the description below. Go and check them out. I've got my indie trucks, the standards. I think they're the 159s. I just swapped out the bushings to bone soft bushings. As you guys can see, my old bushings are pretty cracked and thrashed and I just wanted to change and I've never tried aftermarket bushings so I was really keen to chuck these in and see how they go. I've got some mob grip to chuck on. It's got holes in it and anyone that watches my channel, they all know that I suck at gripping boards. Having the holes in the grip really makes it easy to kind of squash out all the air bubbles so yeah. Plus I've got some bronze hardware to chuck in. Um, I've had this set of hardware for like almost a year now. They're still going strong, so shouts out to bronze. Before we start this build, guys, I just want to show you some shoes I picked up on the Bean store. They had a sale. I got both of these shoes. I got this pair. They're just the normal Anaheim um, Authentics. Just to wear. I'm not going to skate these. Just These are just like to wear around and look nice. Because you know when you wear skate shoes, you thrash them and then you kind of don't want to wear them out because it looks... It looks all thrashed and dirty. So yeah, I got these to wear and then I got these to skate. I got the slip-on Vans Pro Model Pro Model slip-ons, I guess. Um, I've skated these before. These are awesome, but I had them in the blue and white checker. I haven't had them in the all black, so really keen to break these in with a whole new setup. Well, basically a whole new setup. Like The only thing that isn't new is my trucks, bearings and hardware. So. All the main components that make the difference, skating, they're all brand new, so yeah. Anyway guys, enough babbling on, let's get into this build. Usually what I like to do first, I like to pop the bearings into the wheels, get that part all sorted out and then chuck the wheels onto the trucks. I like to leave a decent amount of space, like I don't tighten the bolt down all the way obviously because your wheel wouldn't spin, but I like to leave a decent amount in between. Because what can happen is if you don't tighten your bolts down enough, your wheel will slide back and forth and it actually makes it easier to pop bearings that way because your wheel can land kind of on an angle and your bearings will kind of pop, so you don't want that. Another helpful trick for you guys if you're breaking down a board setting up another one, so you don't get your trucks mixed up, you can put an F. I put an F on my front truck, so I know that this one is the front truck because there's an F on it. That's how... <laughs> That's how innovating it is to kind of grab a Sharpie and just put an F on because then you know for next time, but yeah, it's one of my secrets, so keep that one in your back pocket. What kind of board are you guys riding right now? Let me know in the comment section below. Really keen to find out what everyone's riding right now. Sweet, okay. Now my trucks and wheels are all sorted out, I can move on to gripping the board, I suppose. All right, everyone on my channel knows that I suck at gripping boards, so wish me luck right now, guys, because I really want to get a clean grip on this deck, so fingers crossed. That's why they give you this, to, to use this to smoothen it out. Here I am. Ah, oh, I've got an air bubble! <laughs> Damn! I should be able to work it out. You'd think I'd be able to grip a board correctly after all these years of skating. But guess what guys, I can't. And that's fine, okay? I'll get better at it in time. 
Hopefully. I actually have a file today, so I don't have to use my trucks to shape out the grip on the board, so that's a plus. <laughs> I reckon that looks pretty half decent. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below how bad my, my grip, my gripping, my board gripping abilities are. Tell me how bad they are in the comment section. It also helps when you're cutting your grip if you have a fresh razor. So I popped out a fresh blade right now to get this job done. It feels so awkward doing this because I haven't done this in like six months it feels like it probably hasn't been six months it's probably been like three months since i've set up a board but you know what i mean i try to do this in like one clean swoop but it never happens that way ideally you can do like this in like one smooth motion but for some reason i just cannot do it I shouldn't be too bummed about this rip job because honestly, I'll be up for another deck in like a month, maybe more, maybe a month and a half, two months, I'll be up for another board. Why can't I just do this? Ah, oh, so frustrating. I know you're supposed to cut from the bottom, but it just isn't working. Gats out to anyone that works at a skate shop and does this like every day and does it in like two minutes because I've probably been sitting here for like 20 trying to figure this out honestly I'm sure there's going to be some grip tape Nazis in the comment section telling me uh, I'm doing it wrong I probably I definitely am doing it wrong it's just <laughs> I just want to get it done to be honest I just want to get this done I want to lace up my trucks I just want to go skate all right we got the grip on what do you guys reckon it's not the worst but it's definitely not the best, but it's definitely better than my last group tape job. So give myself a little pat on the back. I like to take a little screwy and just pop holes from the bottom of the deck through the grip. This doesn't even fit. <laughs> I take one of my bolts and just push through a tiny bit on the grip to just know where the, where the hole is so I can line it up correctly without too much failure. That's the nose. I know which one is my front truck because I put an F on it. F for front. Bronze just usually give you a bronze bolt. So I usually put that on my nose so I know which way is my nose and tail. So I'm gonna pop this one in. There you go. That looks about right, I think. <laughs> Hopefully. That's my front truck. Pop that on, start lacing up the bolts. If you guys have skated Bones bushings as opposed to the standard indie bushings, let me know in the comment section below. Really keen to find out how these kind of manoeuvre compared to the stock bushings on independence. If you skated during the 90s, you remember there used to be a set of deck bolts that was kind of in a U shape. So there'd be two that drop in and they were connected by a plate that ran across the top of your board. I can't remember what they were called, but I remember them being pretty popular back in the day. I never had a set because I was a child in the 90s, but a lot of the older dudes that I skated the uh, spots around here with, they had sets of these weird U-shaped deck bolts. If you know what they are, drop a comment below to what the name of these things are. I'd love to buy a pair to put into a board to be real 90s. All right, there's my front truck all done. Looking pretty, pretty correct. I've just got to do the tail. Should I put it this way and see what happens with the kingpin facing out? <laughs> I've never done that. I'll, I'd imagine your trucks would work back to front though. If that makes sense. Like it'd lean one side and then the board would turn the other way. All right, guys, there it is. My complete prime model Donovan Piscopo hockey board laced up to some independent standard trucks via some bronze 56K hardware with some Spitfire tablet Formula 4 52 millimeter wheels with some Bronson G2s. <laughs> yeah, check it out. Not too bad looking. I'm probably gonna go skate now, so there might be some skateboarding clips in this from skating this board.